This is Travis Zimmerman from Speak My Word Ministries. Today's Daily Pulse is about a tuning fork. And I more on that in a minute. I want to share with you out of God's Word, out of Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 to 22. And about just about the just the the in, this is the permanence of God's word, and the immutability, it doesn't change as God is constant. And, and this speaks to that here we see in Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 to 22. My son, pay attention to what I say. Listen closely to my words. Do not let them out of your sight. Keep them within your heart. For they are life to those who find them, and health to a man's whole body. Proverbs chapter 4, verses 20 to 22. You know, one of the games that my older kids and I play with iTunes is there's something called perfect pitch. And I don't know if any of us were born with it. It's, it's basically being able to, someone says, give me a C, and you, you can sing a C. You know, or give me a, give me a, 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 a B flat and, and be able to sing that without even hearing a piano or a tuning fork. And, you know, kind of the example here is I have my son's, you know, this isn't a tuning fork, but this is a tuner that he uses for his his guitar, and he places it in there, makes sure that he's on tune before he plays, and you're able to push it, and you you, you can you can tune your guitar. I mean, obviously a very a simple uh, process to do, but a tuning fork is even better. So what we'll do is I'll say, okay, Elizabeth, let me try this. So I'll you know I'll pick a song, and and I'll and I'll try to get the tune right. And I actually had two days, two songs in one day where I got right on, but most of the time we're not. You most of the time you say, okay, I think it's like hmm, starts there, and it's actually either under or over, and it's. I don't know. Maybe we're bored, but it's a, it's it's a, it's kind of a fun thing to do as a game. But right as I was doing that, I sensed God said to me that that's the way God's word is. You know, we think we know what God's word says, and 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 we do. You know, we read it and we, and we try to memorize it, we try to understand it, we try to study it. But you know what? We always got to be going back to God's word because what happens is sometimes we think we know God's word, and we think we we're doing the right things, but we are sinners. And we are sinful from, from the start to the finish. Everything in between is sin. And what happens is, we, we don't necessarily, it's, it's kind of like the frog boiling in water. You know, if it was placed in the boiling water, it jumps right out. But over time, you can boil it as, as the saying would go if it just increases gradually. And that's the point I want to make with a tuning fork. You know, whatever our thought is, whatever our action is, whatever we, we, you know, we think God's saying, always measure it against what God's word is truly saying. That's the true tuning fork, you know, if, you know, tithing, you know, is it right to tithe? Go into God's Word and find out where that, that tune is. You know, should, should I be putting myself first? You know, the answer is no. You know, use the tuning fork of God's Word because God's Word is the standard. It's the answer to keep the tuning fork, and Jesus has all the answers in for there for us. In Jesus' name, Lord, amen.